So we're in Haleiwa this morning. Rowan, where are you going? Rowan's running. And the boys don't know why we're here. Let's go show them. What do you think we're doing? Scuba diving. Scuba diving? No. Yeah, what else? Rowan, what are we doing? Free dive with no. rocks. What are we doing? Free dive with rocks. Yeah. No. We're doing free <laughs> dive with rocks, Rowan. Wait, we're diving with sharks? Yeah. Okay, free that's actually crazy. <laughs> like free dive? Yeah. Is that pretty cool that or what? Free dive doesn't have the scuba stuff. No. Wait, so are Just, we not doing scuba diving? No. Okay, that it's actually It's like gets snorkeling rid of. with that's sharks. That's really cool. <laughs> what? Actual sharks. Actual yeah. I was worried about the <laughs> Mommy, you know? I do. Mommy, are you going to get in the water? <laughs> this is. Uh, <laughs> Tiger and great white. A tiger and a great white. Wow. You, mommy? I need to see a dolphin. <laughs> a nice <family laughs> dolphin. Dolphin is male and great white. So what about you, Ralph? Big shark. Big, Big shark? Big shark? Yeah. Like me. Yeah. Who's, who's like nervous? Not me. I'm excited. Really? I'm so nervous. Mommy, I'm more nervous, nervous about scuba diving than this. Are you more nervous about scuba diving? Same. Even though I've done it. You are too, Ro? Yeah. I'm a little I'm nervous go about this. I think it's going to be amazing, well, but I'm a little nervous. So we are here at One Ocean Diving to do our pelagic shark dive. So it's a little bit different here. This one is a conservation research company run by Ocean Ramsey. And I'm sure we'll get into it a bit when we get on the boat. They talk about the conservation and what they do to help the shark. There's there's no cage, there's, there's no chumming, there's no throwing food in the water. What they do is they take us out to a shelf three miles offshore. So it's gonna be cool, I'm a little nervous. Roan's freaked out now that he knows he can't see the bottom. <laughs> or the, there's, there's no safety net, you're, you're out in the middle of the ocean. Shade is super excited and Sarah is losing her mind. I don't think she's talked the whole morning. She's known that we were going, but the kids didn't. But we'll see you on the boat. If you get sick today, um, just come to the back, spread your aloha off the center. Try not to get it on yourself <laughs> or the boat. If you do, we've got a fresh water shower for you to rinse off and freshen up. Hey, can you guys hear me up there? Half the time I don't know if it's working or not. <laughs> it's like they said, it is the end of humpback whale season. So if you do see a whale, just point, shout, whale. I'm sure we'd all love to see it. So right now we're heading out to the pelagic zone. It's about three miles offshore, off the coast of Haleiwa Harbor. It's about two to six hundred feet deep, and it's a natural upwelling zone. So that just means that nutrients from the ocean floor come on up, and all the fish and sharks naturally aggregate around there. So obviously today we're all on board to see the beautiful Hawaiian mono. Mano is the Hawaiian word for shark, and in Hawaiian culture they believe in something called amakua. Amakua is the spiritual reincarnation of our loved ones once they have passed on in animal form. The ocean produces over 70% of that oxygen that we breathe, and sharks are like the white blood cells of the ocean, picking up the wheat, the sick, the dying, so that we can have healthy fish populations for a healthy ocean. Some of the sharkies that we're going to see today, we might see some Galapagos sharks. These guys are typically a little bit larger and darker in color. And then we have these sandbar sharks. These guys are typically a little bit smaller and lighter in color. But what they lack in size, they make up for an energy. They're like little sharks on caffeine. We also might see a scalloped hammerhead today. These guys are in danger, so they are a little bit more rare to see. But if we were going to see one, they're going to be a little bit deeper, around 70 to 80 feet down. It's possible that we might see a tiger shark today as well. Um, we love seeing these guys here at One Ocean, but if we do see one, your safety diver is going to shout tiger, grab the line. Not because we are scared, but these tiger sharks are actually very cautious individuals. We want to give that tiger shark the confidence to come on closer and say aloha to us. And if we're really lucky and we win the shark lottery, it's possible we might see a whale shark. We see these guys about once a year on our charters or a white shark. We saw the last one at 7 a.m. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> I, I was like, you're right. Awesome. <laughs> no, the last one seen in this location was actually in 2005. You excited, Shady? Yeah, you ready to get the water? Yep. Yeah. Me too. First one in. Here we go. It's a little more adventurous. You can see the sharks in the water. It's super cool. Okay, am I okay to come in? Okay, coming in.
them as a mindless man-eater that Jaws portrays them to be, but rather as the beautiful predators that we saw today. Because sharks are so important to our ocean ecosystem. Like I said earlier, the ocean makes up about 70% of that oxygen that we need. We need healthy sharks for a healthy ocean. So sadly, some humans are injured by sharks every year, but us humans kill far more sharks. Does anyone know how many sharks um, us humans kill per year? Million. Yeah. yeah. It's actually 100 million, 11,000 per hour, 11,000 since we left the harbor, which is unsustainable wow. and it's crazy. Something needs to put an end to this. Does anyone know um, what are the main causes? Fitting. Fishing? Finning? Yeah. Fishing's another good one. Finning. So finning is the biggest cause, yeah. Uh, shark fin soup or shark finning. It's basically when you cut all the fins off of a shark while it's alive and throw it back in the ocean so it drowns to death. Besides that, shark culling, bycatch, marine debris, plastic, and shark fishing as well are all big contributors. Because of all of this, we could actually see a fishless ocean by 2050, which is a terrifying thought to think about. I'm sure that that intro music turned a lot of people off the water and sharks. And, and sorry for the dramatic effect at the beginning. I just, how often do you get to to post anything online with with the the shark theme the jaws theme but i just wanted to say that because i feel like i'm doing a bit of disservice to ocean ramsey and one ocean diving and the company that we were with as they're working really really hard to kind of dispel that notion that sharks are these bloodthirsty crazy man eaters and it was really weird you were a little nervous when you're going like you're on the boat the anticipation uh, but once you got in the water and we're with the sharks. You know, granted, we weren't with great whites. No tigers showed up. Uh, I think, what did she say? It was nine feet, I think, was the biggest. They were Galapagos sandbar sharks. So it's, it's not like we were with any monsters, but they, you can look them in the eye. And I don't know, there's just something about sentient beings and, and looking creatures in the eyes. These, you could see there's, there's some form of intelligence there. And, and they were just checking us out and there was never that moment of fear and of, of worrying about what it's gonna do, about being scared that it's, it's gonna bite you or attack or anything. It was a really, really serene, peaceful, calming moment. Other than the boat jarring you up and down. We weren't allowed to let go of the boat because the current was so strong that day that if there was any weak swimmers, you know, Shady or someone, it would just get swept out and the gals who were our safety divers in the water <laughs> would have been just chasing him down. But they would bring us out one at a time and we would dive down and you could hear the whales, you could hear dolphins. It, it was unbelievable. The experience was amazing. And I, I, I just wanted to say this because I feel like, you know, I put, I put the, the intro tunes in and for dramatic effect, but there was none of that. And it's sad to hear the stats on how many sharks are killed every year. Finning, there's there's so many different reasons why they're killed. There's finning, there's just overfishing, there's bycatch, there's, there's a ton. So it, it was really eye-opening, but it was amazing and would never hesitate to do it again. Beautiful, beautiful creatures and an amazing experience.